Brazilian footballer Neymar Jr. earns a heroic 500,000 euros a week, which converts roughly to $564,553. Portuguese footballer Ronaldo and Messi from Argentina both get a paycheck of around £500,000 per week, which converts to around $643,169. This is insane money. In fact, this is more money than most people throughout the world would make in their entire lifetime. The paychecks of such footballers is so high that no matter the dexterity they possess, we are led to wonder regarding their income. Welcome to another episode of My Clan. And in our today's topic, we will have a look on the payment of footballers and decide if they are really overpaid. Football, or known in some countries as soccer, is played around the globe in almost each country, thus making it the world's most famous sport. The ground for playing football is rectangular field and has two goal posts at each end. The aim is to score maximum number of goals possible and stop the opposition team from scoring any goal. At any moment of time, there are roughly about 50,000 football players around the world. To become a professional footballer, one has to plan very early in his or her life. In fact, this has to be planned in childhood itself because by the time you are 17 or 18 and not a good footballer, chances are you won't ever be a professional footballer. Like almost all sports, there is only a selected span of your life to play football, giving players a small time frame to earn money. Let's take a look on how footballers make money. Most footballers will have something from 3 to 7 years of their career to earn for the lifetime before retiring. The earnings are dependent on factors like performance, the league in which footballer plays, and is the player bankable, which means can the club use the player's name and reputation for commercial purpose. Since a football match will be watched by most of the people on the television sets, the station will generate revenue from television ads. The TV station broadcasting match will give some amount to the competing teams who in turn will give amount to their players. A club will also make money from other things such as ticket sales as well as merchandise sales. Now as per the rules, no player except for the goalkeeper is allowed to use his or her arms or hands and has to move the ball only with his or her feet. This certainly requires skill and expertise. Not only do players have to pass the football to teammates but also they have to make sure the ball does not go to any player from the opponent team. So it is not just passing the ball, it is passing the ball with style and technique. Footballers do this very job of running around the field and kicking the ball with precision and technique. Footballers at the professional level are immensely talented and the capacity they possess is very exceptional. Very few people have privilege of getting selected in a national football team or a professional football club. Only the best of the best will get a chance to play for the national team or professional club and the capacity that a player must possess is more distinct than that of say a physician. One more dimension to this question of footballers being overpaid is that thousands of people all over the world will watch these superstars perform on the field. They will buy expensive stadium tickets or see it on television. Here lies a big difference between footballers and other professionals. Usually in most professions, you are able to serve only one or a couple of people at a time. For example, in a fast food hotel, a single counter will take order from only one customer at a time. A driver driving a public transport vehicle will be serving a limited number of customers at a time. Comparing this with footballers, calculating the number of people watching a football game throughout the world is massive and runs into millions and even billions. The more tournaments a club wins, the more it gets preferred by television stations to host matches. A football club will compete with other clubs to get the best player on its side because of the talent that a player brings to his team. Also the amount of revenue which a fancy name generates for a team is amazing. The best players get paid well because they have to win tournaments and thus a team or club requires players of good quality. Also the sponsors want to get associated more with the team winning frequently. 
the logo and name of the sponsors will be displayed on team jerseys and many people will see it. Thus, a club will have multiple income streams once it starts winning and it has to pay top players handsomely to acquire or to retain them. All the new players have to earn name for themselves and reach a level where people will go insane only by the fact that they are playing. This is certainly impossible for all players and only a few players ever get to this benchmark. Football players who have reached this position today have certainly put in a lot of effort. Also, all the new players have to establish themselves to be able to play for top clubs because that is where all the money is. Don't expect to get paid millions by playing just for your local club. What do you feel is sufficient payment for any footballer? Do you yourself want to be a footballer? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and like and share this video.